What's up you guys? So now we're gonna go over the problem sets with Scratch the soccer game. So let's take a look at my problem. So this was my game as I show you guys last video. So let's see the logic. So let's start with the ball. I was gonna do from the start, but I think it's better just to show you how I've done it. The other problem sets I'll actually be like coding from scratch. Uh, no pun intended. But okay, let's start with this. So. We'll start with an event when backdrop switches to soccer 2. Uh, wait, that's not the one. Here, when green flag clicked, we're gonna put the ball at 55, negative 31. If you look here at the coordinates, that's the, the ones. The X is the same, the Y is the one changing, right? So we change, we keep on changing until we change the backdrop. So once the user clicks space, we change soccer and we stop the ball bouncing. But why we don't change, what we're gonna do is basically keep looping over and over again, uh, up and down. So I put two uh, conditions just in case halfway through the halfway through the, the bounce, someone clicks to switch to the soccer. So now let's take a look at the character. So Anina, that's her name. So Anina is basically changing costume forever. If I remove this weight, she would like change really quickly. So I give this weight in order for her to like change uh, slow, more slowly. Uh, when we change the backdrop to soccer, we want her to disappear. Let's say I take this out and then we start. She's gonna stay there. So Hyde makes sure she disappears once I start the game. So we took a look at the ball. We took a look at Anina. Now let's take a look at the backdrop. So the backdrop is uh, when the green flag clicks, so that's the starting backdrop. We're gonna hide the variables because we have two variables that will be available, but we want to hide them while we don't change to the soccer field. We're gonna switch the backdrop to light, so light is this one. And until we don't change to soccer, which is triggered by space, we're gonna keep changing the color effect by 25 and giving a weight. So I, same thing, if I remove the weight, it changes really quickly. We can leave it like that, but I think it's better to give a weight. Uh, and then it gives this cool effect. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so that's for this main page, the main important thing. Now let's take a look at the when we start. So when I press space, What's gonna happen is now we're gonna show the variables and we're gonna change this backdrop to soccer. And basically what's gonna happen is that we have a forever loop uh, that is checking this backdrop, checking if someone scores. So if someone scores one goal, we change to the beach reel, which is the final backdrop. So that's what's gonna trigger the end of the game. Uh, so now let's take a look at the lines. So the lines are interesting, so that's what's gonna be sensing. So once we change, uh, once we start, we're gonna have a forever loop that is gonna check if the ball is touching the line. The line is invisible because of this ghost effect. And once it's touching the ball, we change the score by one and we broadcast that we've created a goal. Why do we broadcast? Because we want to make sure that, uh, that we can put the ball back at the start. So that bot grab, that that, uh, that broadcast will be received with this event and that basically puts the ball back at the center of the field. And one last thing that I think is important with the soccer ball is that we'll have, so this is the, I think the most complex logic in this game. So basically we have a forever loop and we're doing that what I, what I talked last video. So we're gonna check if F is pressed, F is the kick, key and if Ben is closed. So if both conditions are true, we're gonna pick a random direction from 60 and 20. That's like basically like uh, the degrees the ball is gonna be kicked and we move the ball in that direction. So that's basically it. And once someone scores, so let's actually score. We, so let's score a goal. So basically we reach one and we change to this backdrop of Rio and the game is over. So that's the game. You probably did it in a slightly different way, but it's a great way to get acquainted with a lot of the logic we'll be working on the next video. So we'll be doing C in the next videos. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to check out the three best ways to become a web developer, take a look at the description below. See you next video.